Hello and welcome back to Let's Make Murley, a character for the indie Kickstarter video game, Grey Skies Dark Waters. In this session I want to continue by adding some detail to the pants, and I'm going to do that by um, adding two layers. A is my um, fill layer, which I already have here with a mask, uh, a custom uh, mask, and I just want to um, kind of use this layer and add a little bit more contrast to it. So I think I'm probably going to do that with this dirt here and take my flow down a bunch. Just give it a bit more of a wash here in the front. Just to get a bit more of that, that contrast that it so desperately is begging for. There we go. And... Yeah, I'm gonna start off just doing that a bit. And adding a bit more of that contrast here. And what I actually what I could do is... I could actually end up using one of these particle brushes, which... I never really figured that I would use them, but right now this could be it. So I'm just going to use the rain particle brush. Have it kind of rain down and add some... Yeah, wow, that's that's actually... Um, it's one of the first time these particle brushes have amounted to anything for me, I'm going to be honest here. Um, I'm going to try to add some leaking maybe. No, 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 no. I, do, I want some real soft, maybe some uh, sandstorm too. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, 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 no. That rain was just perfect. It's giving us some nice, nice variation there. Okay, enough of that, another silliness. I'm gonna go back to regular painting. Take down my flow. There we go. Yeah, so that, that's just giving it some of that um, variation it kind of needs there. And now. What I want to do is I want to kind of go in here, maybe the cotton brush is what I'm looking for. And um, kind of give it some of that, some of these nice uh, creases. Maybe I just need to use the artistic brush. Maybe this is exactly what I need. Okay, I'll take that flow down, of course. And I'm actually... I was thinking of make, adding some height too, but I think this should really just be in the... In the diffuse layer. It's what I wanted to say before I got into zoned. So I'm actually gonna go into the seam as well and add a little bit. See what happens if I add some lazy mouth to this. Yeah, just to accentuate that. Oh, there we go. Some of these these folds. Kind of like doing an ambient occlusion, but not because um, they are actually worn into the pants itself. Plus, painting them is kind of a nice exercise. You know what? I lied. I don't like it. Let's turn off lazy mouse. I do kind of want to add these into the hype channel. So I think what I'll do is I will kind of take these out a bit and add another layer. 
just a regular paint layer, not a fill layer. And in this layer, I'm going to be painting color and height, and this color is going to be the same kind of a light blue color that I was playing with there. There we go. And this time I'm just going to add a little bit of height too. So this is going to be height folds since, the, and the other one's just going to be color. So I'm just going to keep them separated that way. I'm going to take this down, also switch this layer to screen. See how that looks? Okay. And this base color needs to be a little bit less saturated. I don't know, I'll take my flow down, of course. Still a little bit too much. Let's see. Yep, that's about the level that I'm looking for. Let's take the height up a little bit more extreme. And a little bit more height even. Yes. Just a little bit less. Okay. Great. Um, a little bit less height now. Let's see if we can kind of balance here. And take my flow down a little bit more. Here we go, that's what I want. That, that is looking how I want it. Ah! I'm not taking that. Too many, too many. There we go. Uh, add a lot of this. Real small, skinny height fold. Yeah. Now I'm gonna accentuate this seam in here a bit. Really, I need a smaller brush for that. This is just going to be kind of a time consuming process, but I think it's going to make it look so much better and just accentuating. I don't like how that turned out. Whoa! Oh god! huge folds that seem to be drawn onto the fabric like right here. But we do have these it's about very large seams. So much information already baked into the normal map from the zebra sculpt. It's really just a matter of accentuating the right parts. That's what I'm hoping to do here. And I really don't like some of this. Um, 
Um, and here, so I'm gonna kind of try to take away some of these stupid particle brush effects. And I thought I finally found a use for a particle brush, but it just ended up being dumb. Like the particle brush is. You know this thing. You know it is fake. You know it's, you know it's not gonna be good. Why is my base color suddenly this awkward? It's like every time I switch to the eraser, it completely resets my, my original brush in a very odd way. Ah, what's all right. And you better be still painting height. No, you're not painting. What the hell? Oh my god! Brush isn't. Just when I buy Substance Painter and think like, hey, they fix a lot of stuff. A lot of new errors. They made their old errors. Who knows? Put some light on those. Build up that bottom up of the sea. This is on the on the scene itself, which is what I kind of want to also accentuate. Cause I have this really nice face. It's not messed up. now yes it has switch back to that brush I was using there all right and please please now So basically I can't switch to painting on the mask layer. This is what basically. I don't think 
that's actually possible since um, it's going to be destroying my brush. Probably going to take this entire layer, just tune it down in intensity after I'm done with this. Since it's being a little bit too rambunctious right now. There we go. Got them favorite scenes, all scenes. accentuating these seam lines and right now it does look real super intense but I promise I'm gonna tune it down in a sec it's just it's gonna be nice to have them either way layer two, seam accentuation layer. It'd be pretty cool if I could like take my strokes and apply a different brush to all the same strokes. Because then I could um, just take this whole seam layer set of strokes and actually apply one of the, the um, stitches brush to it. And then I would directly have all the stitches or all the seams. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, cool.
like this noise that it's making. There's a lot back here in terms of like the flow that light makes it. Feels like I'm sculpting right now, which is really awesome. That substance pain that can give me that same kind of vibe as I get in ZBrush. I'm not quite sure why I didn't paint these folds over here. It's some sort of an odd scene. Let's see if I can actually smudge that. Just a fill layer on top of this and make this to like kind of a color burn and then change this color to blue. Is that gonna help? Oh, wow, that's what it's like. Uh, but this is just going to affect the color. No, color burn is the wrong one. Uh, maybe vivid light? Oh, yes, that is quite vivid. looking a lot more blue jeansy. I like that. Um, switch out. Just the brush. 
one here, the regular one, and... Let's see if I can move some pins in the floor. Totally changing the entire uh, the entire color scheme of the pants, but I dig it. Let's see what it looks like with the rest of them. Oh wow, yeah. And the bads adds a bunch of say that in Substance Painter 2, what's something I really love is just they've really sped up the painting whatever it is. Like, I, you can paint a lot more fluidly. At least, that's it feels like I am. Which I'm, I'm sure was, it was one of the main selling points, sure, but it's nice seeing that it actually, um, it's actually doing something for the the artistic tree brush for some kind of more noisy thing. changes the lighting and that can make the color itself. Yep. It could very well be that I now have exactly the same color there as I did when I started, but it's about the process.
I never thought I'd sit this long on just painting these jeans. But it's it's just whatever I did I'm doing. Like just be taking a long time. It's just how long it takes. Sometimes I want this to just not be quite as rough. I mean, not be quite as bossy. And just take it up a little bit in intensity. Switch this to screen. light it is here but it's losing a lot of that texture variation that I want. I'm gonna add some of that in again with just some more. Ah, I could use the dirt brush, that would probably look well here. Take that up, take the flow down on the punches. Switch back to that. But, um, I'll just take the brush and just take away a lot of this stuff. Okay. And then yeah, just take one here. Slow it down to line. Fade it out. There we go. So that there's some general variation across the whole Take it 
back out. Mine does exactly that bounce stuff. Take it out here in the scene area. Just so that it's, that scene stands out. Oh my gosh. Like that. Yeah, it's adding a lot of some much needed contrast to this little area. Switch it off just to figure out the action when I'm going Oh no, not that brush. Switch to three and Stick to the brush and take away the rest from the scene. Oh, but not that intense, so I'm going to take on my flow. for that part down there, so I'm going to try and go for a very similar kind of color, and it's also going to be set to screen. Um, I'll go a little bit more like that. A little bit like that. Not metal or normal, just the color and the reference, that's going to be super rough too. situation going on here, so I'm going to come in and paint it away. So I've just agreed to add just a little bit more. what I just spent 40 minutes on, but I think it does look a lot better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna um, make a quick layer for these the signs. And this is just going to be this is gonna be the bleach, and then this is going to be the uh, design. And then 
this one's going to have a uh, pretty dark blue like that, and the roughness is going to be pretty high. And then so I'm going to pick the metallic or normal channel. Oh, it might affect the height of no, now. We're not going to affect the height either. And now, add a black mask and a paint to this mask. And I want to use the default soft black. Well, I did not realize this was purple. Right now I'm just going to focus on painting this mask correctly. Now I'll fix the color in a second. Oh, it's really hard to paint this kind of design. Exactly from the same goal without being able to tumble them all. Oh wait, did they add a feature to tumble them all? That could be the case. Yeah, because it was here, I saw a thing perspective view or graphic view. Free rotation! Whoa! Uh, this, this is a lot of rotation, this, this, this is free rotation. I'm not successfully rotated the model. Okay, now let's go to let's multiply it, and it looks perfect. Uh, I'm going to switch back to constraint rotation. Oh shit. Oh no. Can I ever get back to... Okay, back to constraint rotation. I fear she's never going to not be crooked again. I'm going to go back into this here. Take okay. I like that. Okay, so I think this is a good good spot to kind of call it a session and got a lot of nice um I think nice. I think it's nice. I think it's nice. Uh pants uh painting in there. Um next session I'm probably gonna go and add a little bit of that stitches just to Add a little bit like that extra little color dab to take the pants to another level. And then we'll see where we go from there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.